Here are the transformational stories for the day. D7 a postman from Kuno used to brave thick forests, tough terrains and attacks from wild animals for the last 30 years to deliver letters to some of the remotest villages on the Nilgiri Hills. In 1985, Sivan joined the Indian Postal Service as a stamp collector in Wellington, a town located near Kunur in Tamil Nadu, and in 2010, he was made a Gram Dath Sevak. During the time of his service, Sivan never took a day off because he knew how important each letter, money order and pension was for the villages. He started his day at 8.30am and returned only at 6.30pm. On many days, he has had just one letter in hand, however, he still made the hardest trek to deliver it. This 66-year-old postman retired in March 2020 after 35 years of service. Fondly known as Abok Radhi, this octogenarian has for the past 58 years been working as a wedding dresser. Based out of Thobol district in Manipur, this elderly entrepreneur has dressed over 1,000 brides in her lifetime. This Padma Shri awardee's speciality is keeping a live potli, which comprises of a stiff cylindrical skirt, a blouse and a woven belt around the waist. It is worn with inafi, which is a delicate muslin shawl wrapped around the upper body. The traditional bridal dress gives Manipuri brides a striking look. Even today, she can make an entire outfit in merely 5-7 to seven days. When she started making them, she would earn somewhere around 500 per outfit. But today, she sells each unit for anywhere between 10,000 and 15,000, depending on the intricacy of the handiwork. House painter by occupation Mukhtar Ali, popularly known as the Snake Man of Uttarakhand, is on a mission to rescue snakes in his village. He not only saves the snake from human apathy, but also rehabilitates it to a safer space, reducing instances of negative interactions. He keeps all his work aside during the three-month-long period of monsoons and dedicates himself to protecting the reptiles. So far, he's rescued over 1,000 snakes a month that stray into urban areas.